Uh, I just felt like getting up, getting out, and getting something today. So I just came straight to the gym. I'm going to do my push-ups and my squats, and then I'm just going to walk on the treadmill for a half an hour. I got my Zip Fizz. I think this is blue raspberry today. Looking good, tasting great. So let's get it. Milton. You lazy lumps. You guys, I am the definition of the hot mess express. Like, I'm on a work call right now, paying zero attention. I just got back from the nail salon. I went to get a pedicure this time. Break for my feet. Look how good that looks. And I'm about to eat an Atkins protein wafer crisp, drink some water out of an ice drink bottle, and see what the day has for me. Winning. Okay guys, I've put in a solid two hours of work, like actual work, and I'm so proud of myself. But now my mind is starting to wander and I'm starting to get super over it. So I kind of just want to look at Instagram and like watch some YouTube videos. And the only way I'll feel good about doing that is if I'm eating, <laughs> so I can't work anyway. So I am going to eat my egg roll in a bowl. I got my ice drink right here. So I am going to have this. Hopefully, you know, get it out of my system and then laser focus right back to work. Oh guys, th this is an example of me showing you the good and the bad. I'm in serious pain. I think it's the almonds. It just hurts and there's nothing I can do. But just wait it out. I had a handful of almonds and half of a cheese stick. And then it just got really bad. It's like a very uncomfortable bloating and pressure. Like if I press on my stomach, like I can feel it expanding. It just hurts. It usually passes in like three to four minutes, but. And just like that, I'm back. If one is feeling horrible and 10 is feeling great, I'm at about an eight right now. I'm generally never at a 10, maybe at a nine and a half in the mornings. Like before I eat anything, I am golden. When there's no food or anything on my stomach, like that's the closest to normal that I feel. As soon as I start to eat, that is when my comfort starts to decline. But like those spells that hit me, and the thing is they've been hitting me every day around five o'clock and I've just been working my way through it. But today was really bad, so bad, I think I'm, Gonna try to lay off the almonds tomorrow and see if that changes it. And then if it doesn't, I'll lay off the cheese sticks. Like, it's just hit or miss. But I got the Jello and I got the Zevia. So I'm gonna enjoy that. Maybe watch some YouTube and work for a little bit and go home. It's the weekend. Which means nothing, cause I'll be here tomorrow. Oh, you know me. Just enjoying some HCT. See, I can rhyme when I don't try. Mm. All right, TV time. Hey guys, I am back to not feeling so hot. Uh, it doesn't feel anything like it felt earlier, um, but it's been coming and going in waves uh, since I had the hot chocolate. Uh, to be honest, I have felt like this pretty much every day this week, at least the one that happens in the afternoon, like around 4.30 or 5 o'clock. I just get a huge wave of pain. Uh, today was really just the first day I filmed it just because I, I thought to do it before the pain got too bad. I'm not used to feeling bad like this in the evening, so I'm kind of disappointed. But like I said, it's nowhere near as bad as it was and I'm just gonna go to sleep. I'm gonna take my medicine and then I'm gonna go to sleep so I know I'll feel better. I really appreciate your well wishes and your support. And to be honest, guys, I'm not looking for suggestions about how to not be in pain. I try to do the best I can, but my diet just changes too much for me to really be able to pinpoint what the issue could be. And some days I'm fine. I'll eat the same thing and I'm fine. And the next day it'll just feel horrible. So it's like, I can't really tell what the issue is. Although, like I said, tomorrow I'm going to try it without the nuts because I honestly don't feel bad until I eat them. So I'm going to try that, but I've just kind of accepted that 
I'm gonna be in pain here and there uh, until my surgery in January and I'm okay with that. I'm just gonna try to make the choices and take my medicine to feel as good as I can, as, as much as I can, and then just accept that like I'm gonna feel bad sometimes and that's okay. Like I don't wanna spend my days trying to tinker and figure out like what'll keep me from being in pain because for the most part I feel good but sometimes it hits me and it sucks. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto. I make weekly meal preps, weekly what I eat Wednesdays, and monthly weigh-ins. I'm also participating in Vlogmas, and coming in 2019, I will be doing some product reviews. I got a notification, my Keto Crate shipped today. Ah, So I can't wait to show you that during Vlogmas as well. You can also find me on Instagram at Watch Autumn Keto. Thanks, and I'll see you tomorrow.